You know, it started out as a small plea for help, a single line in a speech that grabbed the attention of Harford County, a line that would ultimately weave together the community and the veterans who called it home. Well, Kelly, we've told many stories here on Unfocus about veterans in need, but this need is different. It's something we often don't think of, something that touched one group of women so strongly, they're quite literally ripping the problem away at its seams. There we are. An unlikely room transformed. A conference table in the Harford County Government Building, now a tailor's workshop. Packed full of button down shirts, pants. It would have been funny if we all had cups on our fingers. <laughs> Band aids. <laughs> and seamstresses of all levels. Did you say when you're hemming or putting buttons on? Yeah, she's yeah. A, she is. She does sew, for real. This isn't sewing. These women handed over their lunch breaks to pull thread by thread for veterans in need. That's kind of the, the bittersweet part of it is because you know you, you do feel you feel good about it but then you do feel sad knowing why they're being used these uniforms uh, that's incredible it's just it's awesome it's a message a need that army veteran buddy lilly included in a memorial day speech the veterans administration will provide for burial in a va national or private cemetery and will also pay for the casket or urn for unclaimed veterans What's missing is clothing. Lily contacted local funeral homes, finding some of our veterans don't have proper clothes to be buried in. We're always trying to help them, and this was un we were unaware of this. We didn't even know this was a, a problem. That message made its way to Harford County Director of Procurement Karen Myers. I was just shocked. I couldn't believe that that was an issue for a veteran not to have decent clothes to be buried in. It was right around that same time that Harford County outsourced their security guards to the sheriff's office. Ultimately, hundreds of uniforms were set to be tossed. What better way, instead of d disposing of the uniforms, than to use them for this cause? And so the issue was they had patches on the sleeves. And so in order for them to be donated, we needed to take the patches off. That's where the rest of the county government staff stepped up. Like I said, it's like this, like a way to pass bird. time, right? This one Make our grandmothers <laughs> proud. Donating any free time, ripping seams thread by thread, with each patch removed, a reminder. You know, they were willing to sacrifice for us their lives, and for us not to sit in for an hour and give them that dignity and death, for them not to have those clothes, that, I mean... I think that's why we're also quick to say we're in. Mm -hmm. Harper County has 300 uniforms that they're working on. 300? <laughs> that's incredible. That's awesome. Uh, we'll put it to good use. We would definitely put it to good use. Good use puts it lightly. Uniforms made like new, a small effort, these coworkers say, to giving back to those who risked everything. It does make you feel good, you know, you patriotic kind of makes you feel good that a little something that you're not it's not a whole lot but a little something that you're doing is helping i guess there are some perks to lily is hoping his message doesn't stop in harford county he says it's a need across the country and hopes that this story makes its way across a small town america reaching out to those in need in every corner of the country you can find out more about this project on our website that's at abc2news.com slash in focus thanks amy great story